Hello again everyone, this is Game Collector, and I have, and this week I have the final member of Team Bullet Train right here, uh, Rail Spike, uh, the leader, I guess. He turns into a, a Nozomi 500 style bullet train, if I, I hope that's the proper pronunciation. Um, yes, he does have his connector piece, and he is the only other one that does, the other one being, um, Midnight Express, because, again, I got these guys when they first came out, as mentioned in the previous videos, which you should probably go watch first, starting with Midnight Express, and followed up by Rapid Run, um, but like the others, he also has a little hole right there. Um, he has little rolly wheels on the underside that don't really work too well on this table. Um, and, yeah. There is a bit of a gap for his connector piece. Uh, I can't really find a way to fix that very well without making more kibble appear. So, we'll just take that off right now because we're going to transform him into his robot mode. Put that off to the side. where it won't get lost, hopefully. Um, legs are really simple. Just pull. Then you split and turn each of them forward. Of course, extend out the heel on both sides. And then extend the feet. And open the little skirts, side skirts up a bit. Split this top piece and fold down the arms. Wow. Adjust them really. Now, uh, for this piece right here, there are two ways you can do it. You can split the legs down the middle and move this entire piece into this cavity, which, if you do, it kind of blocks his face, and I'll show you what I mean. Um. push that in, pull it up a little bit, and so on. And now I'm going to turn his head around, and you'll probably will only see the top of it because... Or you won't see any of it at all because there's this massive chunk blocking it. I mean, seriously, that's why I don't like transforming it that way. So, re-split the legs just so I can show off his face. So... Instead, instead of cramming all of that, ex all of these extra pieces into the chest cavity, you kind of let them hang out forward. And there, now you can see his face. <coughs> no, pardon me, throat's a little dry. Weather and all that. And there you have uh, Rail Spike, or if you want to go by his Japanese name, J5. Um, again, he has uh, a lot of the same features, similar features, same stuff as the others, uh, ball joint hip, hinge knee, and again, I suppose ankle, or joint. He actually has double jointed elbows. And his head is... He's the only one who doesn't have a head on a ball joint, but then again, with the way uh, Rapid Run's ball joint is, it's kind of lucky he can actually turn his head at all. Head can turn 360 degrees. Shoulder. And now to this piece that's left over. 
Yes, it lights up, but uh, fold this up, push that down, pull out this little piece here, and then you peg it in. And there, he has his rifle, which lights up. Pew, pew, pew! Uh, now to his bio and stats. Rail Spike is the leader of Team Bullet Train. Uh, he is courteous, polite, and intelligent, but don't let his gentlemanly manners fool you into thinking he's not cut out for battle. He can lock, load, and fire the rocket launchers on his shoulders, which you can actually see, believe it or not. like any true warrior, to bring down the enemy. But he uses a sonic umbrella that emits ultrasonic waves as it rotates? Again with the weapons that don't exist. First, Midnight Express has a sword. The other, Rapid Run has a grenade launcher that doesn't seem to exist. And a sonic umbrella that rotates. What? What what's up with giving these guys non-existent weaponry or giving them weapons that don't seem to exist period I suppose this is some sort of sonic umbrella it doesn't really look like it rotates oh look a sword wait 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 a minute I think they might have gotten all the weapons mixed up I think the heat sword goes to this guy, the sonic umbrella goes to Midnight Express, and the non-existent grenade launcher goes to no one. Unless this is the grenade launcher and something else, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, with the whole non-existent weapons thing, but as with the other two, this guy also has a third form, as you may or may not have guessed by now. Simply transform him back into train mode. Which is kind of giving me a bit of trouble. And you may have already gotten a glimpse of what he might turn into. But instead of pushing these, instead of pushing the legs back in, you fold them down, so he looks like an odd pistol of some sort. But you still fold in the heel and leave the feet extended out. And then you split it down the middle. And make the feet stick out. I mean, what does this look like to you? Some sort of weird recognizer from Tron. What looks like it's half train, half walker of some sort. Wait a minute. If you take this guy here, or what you can see of this thing here, and if you notice, this one piece here has a little left over say, enough left over to do this? Oh, it appears I have just made a very big gun. Huh. And then I can perhaps plug it into the kibble fist floating on the backpack up there. Yes, that, that looks about right. And there's this extra piece kind of just hanging off in the middle. I wonder what that does. Oh, oh I see. Well, I would see if I could actually get them connected properly. Always have trouble with this part, and
I do believe I have created some sort of back-heavy monstrosity. A quite large back-heavy monstrosity. And I don't think the review of Team Bullet Train is over quite yet. So I guess I'll see you next week with the, with the biggest and final member of the team. Later.